water. Uh, I was just looking at my uh, my pool over here, and I noticed the stillness in it. And in Miami as well, the the ocean it's pretty calm. Um, there are not many waves, so there's there's like this stillness. And what I wanted to talk about in this video is how if you can create stillness in your mind, you can do so many unbelievable things. And it's and it's hard at first, but once you figure out how to do it for yourself, it's actually it's a pretty habitual practice. So for me, uh, what it is is every morning working out to an extreme fair. I don't want to say overly extreme, but pretty extreme level that I'm like pretty whooped, you know, like by the end of it, I'm, I'm pretty tired and, but not tired in a way of like, want to go to sleep, just like exhausted from the workout. And it, I've noticed if I don't do that, then my mind is not settled throughout the whole day. But if I do it, my mind throughout the whole day is very still and I can think and I can um, not think, right? And I can just focus and work and feel good. So whatever that is for you, and I think working out is pretty common for a lot of people, but you know, maybe it's meditation, right? So meditation works for me too. Working out actually works better for me. Um, journaling in the morning, like all these things, right? Like if I did all three of them in the morning, which sometimes I do, you know, it's, it's good, right? It's all good. But working out for me is the main thing. So for you, find whatever that main thing is that can get your mind still. And then, you know, whatever outcomes or whatever things you're trying to produce with a still mind, you simply just produce them, right? With a chaotic mind, sometimes the simplest of actions become difficult, right? So first goal should be to still your mind and then progress from that mindset. So talk to you soon.